AFL's TS100 is the latest derivative in AFL's FlexScan family. The new FlexScan TS100-60 and 70 models are pond optimized and include a 16-50 nanometer filtered pond troubleshooter, a dual wavelength filtered downstream GPON and XGS pond power meter on the same port, an optional red laser visual fault locator, plus four gigabytes internal storage, USB, and Bluetooth wireless interfaces. The TS100 is available with a field replaceable UPC or APC connector, as well as tool-free interchangeable SC, LC, and FC connector adapters. Like previous flex scans, the TS100 offers instant on, powering up immediately to the TS100's test results home screen. On power up, the TS100 displays results from the most recently completed test and restores user configurable settings to the same state they were in at power down. The TS100 immediately detects and reports downstream GPON and XGS PON power levels at 1490 and 1577 nanometer, respectively. Downstream power levels are compared to user settable min max pass fail limits, alerting the technician when received power is absent, too low, or too high. Since the drop cable is connected directly to the TS100, no launch cable is required, and launch cable length should be set to zero feet. Since we are testing upstream towards the splitter, touch Network Type and select FTTH PON. Touch Back to return to the test results display. Initiate the test by pressing Start Stop or by simply touching Press to Start. Within three seconds, the TS100 will measure link length, loss, and ORL to the splitter and detect and report splices, connections, and faults between the test access point and the splitter. The lower cost TS100-60 will test to the splitter, but not through the splitter. Consequently, it will not detect and report macro bends or poor connections causing excess loss at the splitter, since excess loss at the splitter is merged with the loss of the splitter. The higher performance TS100-70 can test through the splitter, measure splitter loss, and compare it to user settable min and max loss limits, enabling technicians to identify poor connections or macro bends at the splitter. Overall link pass fail status is displayed when a test completes. The test results home screen also displays a link map of the tested network to the splitter Touching the link map thumbnail displays a more detailed link map, automatically selecting the first failed event. Color-coded link map icons identify passing or failing, connections, splices, and splitter. Touching any event icon selects it and displays its event type, location, loss, and reflectance. Recommended corrective action is also displayed for failing events. Pressing the Home Menu button toggles between the test results screen and the Home screen menu. From the Home menu, you can name and save test results, send results to an iOS or Android device running the FlexScan app, view and edit date and time, configure Bluetooth, and modify other general settings, recall, view, and send saved results. Results may be saved to an internal memory or an external memory stick. Results are saved in a fiber group folder within a project folder. Touch the project name to edit it. When done editing, touch the Done button. Touch and edit the end one, end two, and cable names to create the fiber group folder name. Touch and edit the starting fiber number. The fiber number is auto-incremented each time a result is saved. 
Once edits are complete, touch Done, and the results will be named and saved. Edited project N1, N2 cable and fiber names are saved and restored on Power Up. Touch Send To to upload saved results via Bluetooth to the FlexScan app running on a Bluetooth paired iOS or Android device. A software update will soon add user configurable auto save and auto send, enabling results to be automatically saved and optionally sent as each test completes, saving steps and ensuring all test results are captured. The TS100 can also be used to test distribution and drop cables in the downstream direction from the splitter at the PFP toward the ONT. In this case, the test connection from the TS100 to the patch panel must be completed using the launch cable available in the TS100 kit. After cleaning and connecting the launch cable to the TS100 and the patch panel, touch the TS100 tool icon to view the Fault Locate Setup screen. In addition to network type and launch cable settings, the Fault Locate Setup screen allows you to select and edit pass-fail rules or select fiber type. Since the distribution and drop network is point-to-point -point from the PFP patch panel to the splitter, set network type to point-to-point. -point. Now touch Launch Cable and enter the length of the connected launch cable. Since we don't expect any live signals to be present when testing in the downstream direction, we can select pass-fail rules and disable receive power pass-fail analysis at 1490 and 1577 nanometer wavelengths. Pass-fail limits can also be disabled or enabled and adjusted for link ORL, link loss, and link length, as well as for splice loss, connector loss and reflectance, and splitter loss and reflectance. Touch Press to Start. Within seconds, link length, loss, ORL, and events to the end are detected and displayed. As before, touching the link map thumbnail accesses a more detailed link map with event measurements and recommended corrective actions for any detected faults. Thanks for watching this brief introduction to the AFL TS100-60 and 70 PON troubleshooters. The TS100 also includes a light source mode to generate fiber identifying tones compatible with the OFI BIPM for bend and sensitive fiber, as well as a CW and wave ID source and power meter for insertion loss measurements, and an optional VFL. The TS100 also pairs with AFL's Focus Flex to display connector inspection images.